Evening humans. You have to uh, excuse the mess. I was out in the garage putting a new piston and cylinder in a 200T all day. Yes, I realize it's not an all-day job, but when you're in a wheelchair, it quickly becomes an all-day job. By an overwhelming margin in regards to what I should do with the GoFundMe money, so the number one request was do something for my niece who smashed her mouth in. Uh, so I've talked to my sister. You know, we'll be covering the medical bills. She hasn't gotten back to me on yet exactly what they are, but you know, we, you actually, since you're the ones who put the money in, uh, we'll be helping her out. And I would get her a dollar or something, but I don't know what she likes. I mean, for Christmas, I got her a chainsaw. <laughs> that's how I roll. I don't know what girls want. So that's the first thing the GoFundMe goes to. The second thing, you have to understand that there are situations, or occurrences, or scenarios, places in life that you truly can't get a sense of what it means or what it's like until you go through that situation or experience it for yourself. First one that comes to mind is the Grand Canyon. You know, you can hear about it and see pictures of it all day, but until you actually experience it for yourself, you truly can't appreciate what it is. Piggybacking on that, if you've never been in a dire situation or if you've never truly experienced a fight or flight response situation, if you've never were unsure where your next meal was coming from or if you were even going to be alive to get your next meal, you can't truly appreciate those types of situations without having gone through them yourself. So it's kind of hard to empathize at that point. Yes, you're aware of what others are going through, but you're really not. So first I went to the Red Cross and put $500 into the Red Cross going to Hurricane Harvey. And because we all know that there are some shitty humans out there, um, here are some screenshots of the uh, receipts. You know, they're going through a really bad situation down there, and, you know, anything helps. And then next, I put uh, $250 into the ASPCA, because if I was down there and Gibbs was down there, I would want someone to help Mr. Gibbs. All right, Gibbs. And again, here are the receipts. Last week, I actually got together and bullshitted with another YouTuber and a viewer, uh, and that would be Mr. Greg. I'll put a link to his channel down below. Great to meet you, Greg, and it was a pleasure. And he was telling me about uh, this organization called Team Rubicon, and so I did some research. After the earthquake in Haiti in 2010, two Marines wanted to help out in any way they could, and I guess with the red tape of other organizations, they, were, they got kind of fed up, so they kind of put together their own team and just went there and just started helping out in even areas that were deemed too dangerous by other aid groups. And it has just snowballed into this massive global effort to help those in need. Since I'm in a wheelchair, I really can't do much right now, but I'm definitely looking forward to uh, joining myself. And they're actually geared towards getting veterans, I mean, who better that have already been tested and proven than those who have been in the military. So very much looking forward to uh, getting involved. But So I donated $250 to Team Rubicon, and here are receipts for those. And the Team Rubicon one really kind of hit home, because when you make a donation to them, you can make the donation in honor of or in memoriam. So that kind of hit. Uh, my best friend in A school was uh, working on the Kennedy one day and uh, he got killed in a sewage pump room. And that's him right there. So I put that donation in his name. Although it's your guys' money, so you put the donation in his name. Mr. Daxing Brown. And he was killed for hydrogen sulfide. And the space he was working in had detectors that were broke. You have to know when what you're being asked is too risky, and unfortunately that's even more difficult in the military world because the repercussions can be pretty severe. Couldn't say no to the orders given to him, and it cost him his life. And that sucked. We were at quarters one morning going over the safety briefs, and that's how I found out about it. Thank you everyone for the donations for the GoFundMe. Uh, I hope you don't mind that I'm not going to be getting anywhere near... Oh, let me... I took a screenshot of uh, what I had in my card at treestuff.com before I did this. Let me show you that. 
yeah, it was tough making that call because you know, I'm, I'm a gear nerd, but I sleep better at night this way. Unfortunately, there won't be $1,500 worth of gear coming, but um, you know there are some people that put a significant amount of money towards specific items that I will still be getting. But one of the things uh, specifically asked for and donated for was the uh, Spider Jack 3, so I will be getting one of those. Um, really kind of interested to see how that stacks up against the uh, zigzag because right before I fell, my buddy Joe got a zigzag and I tried it out and the thing was amazing. It was great. So if I told you sp straight up that I, I was going to get the item that you were asking for, it will be coming. Just not a lot of the other stuff that was kind of on the fence. Anyway, that's where the money is going for now. I mean, there's still some left over uh, to get some, some gear with and you know, hopefully we can get in and play with it and have some fun. Definitely, I, I hope you don't mind that I did that with your money. You know, I think if you have a problem with what I did there, you can really just go fuck yourself. Have a good one, humans. That's for Dax.